Right then, folks, I've left that lovely little paddock place with the tall trees where I saw over a hundred stags. And a lovely black stallion pony or horse greeted me and then he went, and then he, and he, and he disappeared. That was lovely to see him. He spoke, he turned, he, he looked at me, watched me. He might have even followed me because he's disappeared, but I heard him go, he did a big neigh. He didn't come charging across the field, he might have gone around the edge. But I was so happy to see those stags. Young, old, not ancient, but some had bigger antlers than others. And of course, um, if I zoom in now on the other side here, you'll see the, the, the deer I saw this morning when I was coming up Bicknola Coombe. From over this side, I don't know if there's any stags with all those does. It could be, there could be a stag there. Yes, I think there's a really big stag. I think I can just make out the horns. The antlers, of a, and other, that could be a tree. Don't forget, that could be a tree. There's definitely loads and loads of does there. And on this, on this side as well there are. And I caught, by pure chance, the stags. Sheltering by those trees. At first of all, I only thought it was like four or five young deer. And I zoomed in with my lens. I needed to walk towards them, else I wouldn't have got any more pictures. And I waited. I thought they might tur turn and go across the field. And they did. They did go across the field. And what I'm doing, folks, is, um, looks like they're coming back now. Look, what I'm doing is I'm going to go to the, the top there. But what I really want to do is then go over the top there, down Weakham, and back to Bicknolly. That's plan A. But the, when people, people get attracted to me when I'm out, you know, they get drawn. I'm like a magnet to people. I recognise that hut now. I recognise that hut when I went and did Paradise Coombe. I reckon that per I don't think Paradise Coombe is that first comb. I think it's the one further over. So, because it doesn't take long to get here. Not really. I mean, obviously, okay, I left home uh, far too early. I left home at um, half eight and the train went to nearly half nine. But I was still out here by, by half ten. The actual travelling time was only an hour. Less really. I only had, I did a really good join up because he did say to me sometimes there are shortages of buses and sometimes they leave a service out. He said, but don't worry, the, the, the last one will always pick you up. So that was good. Anyway, what I don't, what I'm intending to do, I'm going to see if there's a track that will take me back and then over and down. But I've got a feeling this down the bottom here where I'm going now is where all these stones are that people have talked about. I didn't bring the map and I forgot to study it last night. So but we are exploring. We are exploring. Minehead right over there. Hill and then you've got poor luck. I love all around there, you know. When I had my van, God, I was ex starting to explore, going into Devon, and then I lost my van. Not only was she started to get vandalised, and then she, because the vandalisation, being vandalised, she started to get damp. Um, someone had vandalised the exhaust, so I, that was another big thing. Um, and she had lots of bits and pieces. We got on, she was 30 years old that year. She was 30. So she did have bits and pieces. But I do miss it. I do miss Alberta. 
I miss the freedom she gave me, but I'm still free. And under the conditions our society's in at the moment with um, COVID, with um, wars going on and food and bread and all sorts of shortages that's going to be happening very soon and heating and energy level going up and up and up. I mean, my energy bill is going up in one day 53%. It's, going, it's more than doubling. It's going to cost me twice as much from the 1st of April. So that has really clipped my wings for a bit, maybe for this year again. Um, I might hire. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet. So I don't particularly want a car all the time. No, I don't. No, I don't want one all the time. I just really want one for the summer so I can go and do a bit of family tree work. I can go on a train and bus, but I like having my own thing. You stop where you want, can you? You know what I mean? Right, let's get up here. Like I said, this is a reflective journal as long as well as a visual diary. So you hear all sorts from me. All I know is that this is supposed to be some ancient mound here. This could be it, what I'm on. Those people are coming. This could be the ancient mounds. back over there. I can't see that horse anywhere. Those people are coming my way. I should do a diversion in a minute. I should do a diversion. It's very windy. I'm going to turn off well, they're going back again now. They're going back again. Right, I think this is to do with the... This is it. This Around here, these humps and bumps. It reminds me of the hill fort over at uh, Cheddarway, West Draycott, where they got humps and bumps and linear things like this. So I'm, I think that this is the, the settlement area, the, the old settlement area. This is here these humps and bumps. I think I found whatever it was. I'll look, at, I'll look into more depths when I get back. I'll look into more depths. So anyway, I've decided to go back, go over the top, and go down Weecombe Valley. I decided I'm going to do that anyway. I'm out for the day. My knee's all right. I've got time to do that, you see. It's half past one. There are hourly waits between trains. Um, there are hourly waits. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a decision properly when I get to the top of Weecombe Valley and decide whether to go down it or go on the top of it. You see, if I got... Um, it's terrible, this time thing, isn't it? If I got... the four o'clock bus, I would make it in time for the quarter past five train. 11 minutes past five actually. The next one is, again, it depends if they leave a bus out. He did say there are shortage. There's a possibility that one bus might not run. 
Sam. <sighs> but if I have to wait, I have to. I have to wait. But this is definitely a processional thing. Look, I think so. I'll look it up again. When I... And there's the valley. That's Big Nolakum that I came up. The deer are all just down there, below me. The deer. And right opposite me, right opposite me there, are the deer I photographed this morning. All on the hillside there. Hold on, it'll come in in a minute. There we go, look. Loads of them, isn't there? All does. Right, I'm just going to turn off and take a picture. 